understand is how vital it is and just how much, how much knowledge, how much wisdom is inside of this Bible. We look at all of the things that destroy us as a people, and when we actually dig and, and go inside of this Bible, like the dust off of it, and stop letting it be just a piece of decoration in the house, we're going to see that there's some real game that's inside of this Bible, man. You understand? We're the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We started out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, teaching teaching the truth according to the Bible under command of Junior Hunter, man. You understand? We're coming out of, out, out of Harlem. We coming out of New York to teach the truth to blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians that we are the true Jews according to the Bible and that the Bible is the thing that can change our lives. The problem is Christianity's been around for a long time, but our conditions have remained the same. Our blood has still spilt. Religion and Muslim and all of these different faiths have been around for a long time. Burning sage has been around for a long time. Your imams have been around for a long time. You understand? But our lives have never changed because we never actually opened this Bible. You ain't got to like it. It don't matter to me. But these things right here is righteous. It's righteous to love your brothers. It's righteous to love your sisters. It's a righteous thing to love and have respect for your husband and wife. It's a righteous thing to not bring wrath to your children, to raise them up right. It's a righteous thing to do so, man. But the Christian church has absolutely failed at that job, man. You understand? Read it from the top. Oh God, this is the book of Baruch, this chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. Ye were sold it. to the nation, uh -huh. not for destruction, uh -huh. but because ye moved God to wrath. You understand? We were sold to these nations, not for our destruction, man, but because that we moved God to wrath. Because we did and disobeyed what he said we cannot do, man. Because we decided to be American. Be because we decided to put down the culture of the Bible. Because we decided to go against God, man, is why is what moved him to wrath. And he's saying the Christian church is to blame for that, man. Because that's what our parents learned right from wrong. Whether you know it or not, that's what we learn right from wrong. But the Christian church loves to tell us, you understand, that uh, what, what is good and what's bad. But they don't use the Bible to say what's good or bad. So how do we know if we're sinning against God? How do we know if we're a righteous man or not? Because you said so? Because you because you popular? That's not how it works. You understand? A righteous man recognizes a righteous man. You understand? And that's what that's that's what we bringing out today. You understand that the Bible can change our lives. The Bible absolutely changed our lives. We no longer is 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 under the oppression that the, that the that our oppressor wants to feed on us. We no longer believing in the lies that they teach in that Christian church. But we decided to pick up the Bible and read what's in the Bible. You understand? Drop that. Bring me back over. Bring me back over to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. You don't need the Bible. You understand? Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. We got to understand something that the Lord, just like he said, he ain't, we ain't under this captivity to be destroyed, man. And the scripture we're about to bring out right now, God not changing is the thing that has not consumed us. Because if God allowed the abortion, we would be off the face of the earth. If God allowed the, the drug abuse, we would be off the face of the earth. If God allowed us to stay in the prison system, them brothers would never get out. They have no hope of salvation because our oppressor never wants them to get out. You understand? That's because our God decided not to change. He said, sister, you got to have them babies. He said, brothers and sisters, you cannot get high. He said, brothers and sisters, you cannot believe in this in religion, this Christian church. You cannot believe these lies. You understand? We have to live our lives according to what the Bible says. You can't eat what you want to eat. You can't celebrate what you want to celebrate. You understand? And we should be thankful that the Lord didn't change. Because if he did change and he allowed these things, we would be killed off the face of this earth. You understand? You got that scripture? Read. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Therefore, night shall be unto you. Therefore, night shall be unto you. That ye shall not have a vision. You understand? And it's... Take me back over to Acts 20 in the New Testament, man. Take me back over to Acts 20. You understand? We got to understand that the things, the Lord said you commandment that's in this Bible is meant for us to prosper, man. You go look throughout the Bible, you want to see that when we follow the, the thing that the, our Father told us to follow, could no, no nation stand with us? Could no nation stand with us or mess with us or bully us because we decided to follow what God said to follow, man. In times past, you actually go and open this book. You understand? You deny the lies that your pastor is trying to tell you. You're going to see that your pastor has been lying to you for a very long time. 
You won't see that your past has been feeding you lies and fairy tales for a very long time. And let me help you understand something. The Bible is not a fairy tale. The Bible is absolutely real. You understand? And it's about the prosperity of blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. I don't know what else the Christian church has been teaching us, but when we actually open this thing up, we're going to find out that God wants us to be above every nation on this earth. You got the book of Acts chapter 20? Go ahead. Verse 32. Oh, uh, go ahead. This is the book of Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Now, and now, brethren, I command you to God and to the word of I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. You understand? Paul said he commends us to follow God. He recommends that we follow God. Because his word, which is the Bible, hold this thing up. His word, which is the Bible, it says that it would build us up. And right now, if you can't see that we are destroyed people, and we absolutely need building. You understand? We absolutely need to follow what the Bible is saying. Because the scripture just said, read it again. Oh God, I commend you, I commend you to, to you to God and to work to the word of this grace, which is able to build you up. That's what that's what we have to understand, man. We go inside this Bible and we see these rules that the Lord has laid out for us. We see what He's told us and what we had to follow. You're gonna see as the scriptures just say that it would build us up. How would it build us up? We would have these babies and build a nation. These babies wouldn't grow up to be molested, you understand, to be pedophiles, to be rapists, you understand, to be stuck on drugs, you understand? We would be a people, we would be an understanding people, a wise people, because that's what the Lord's words are. It's not some made up, ain't nothing you gotta kiss a rock, man. That ain't kissing a rock ain't gonna change your life, man. Opening up this book is what's gonna change your life. Following what's in this book, coming up in the ISUPK and learning what these scriptures actually mean is what's gonna change your life. Because we won't fall into the snares of our oppressor. We won't fall into the traps of our oppressor. That's why I'm saying that the word of God would build us up. It wouldn't tear us down. But who is out here telling you that the Bible is written by the white man and we shouldn't follow the Bible? Us. Because we destroyed, man. The Christian church has lied to us for a very long time. So of course we don't believe that the Bible could actually have any benefit to our lives. Well, I'm here to tell you that it can. That's what the scriptures just said. How can it benefit our life? If it say you can't get high in there, imagine the many ways that that could benefit your life. How much money you can get back in your pocket? How much of that can go back to your nation? It says that you can't celebrate Christmas and Valentine's Day. Guess what? You ain't gonna go broke on Christmas no more. You ain't gonna go broke on Valentine's Day no more. You understand? You're not gonna go broke celebrating America's holidays which makes them filthy rich and sends their children to Harvard and Yale. You ain't gonna go broke no more. What else? The Bible says, how would, this, how would these scriptures build us up? It says you can't eat strip crab pork or lobster. So how would that benefit us? We won't lead in high blood pressure no more. We won't lead in diabetes no more. We won't fill up the health clinics because we got some, some issue wrong with us. That won't happen no more. The more can't get rich no more off of the blood of blacks and Latinos, man. Because why? Because the word of, the, of, of God builds us up. That's what the scripture said. Read it one more time from the top. Oh God, this is the book of Acts. Chapter 20, verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the words of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. You understand? To give an inheritance amongst all of them which are sanctified, man. You come up in this truth, you get in this body, you gonna get that inheritance. You understand? The Christian church never told you what the inheritance is. The Christian church told you you had to die to go get your inheritance. You got to die to go be with Christ. You got to die to go be with the Lord. That's a filthy lie. That's a filthy lie. The Bible says heaven is going to be on earth. You understand? That's what the Bible says. But the Christian church been lying. That inheritance is going to be right here. And in order for that inheritance to come, we got to follow these scriptures, which is going to build us up. That's why the inheritance is going to come. That inheritance is black and Latino people and Native American Indians being the rulers of this earth. Your grandbabies been taking the throne from you standing with the Lord today. That's what that inheritance is. Forget all the talking. Forget all the forget all the talking. The Bible said, "What is faith without works, man?" You got to come up here and get down. You got to put your brick in. You got to tell your son no. You got to tell your wife no. You got to tell yourself no. You got to do what God said to do, man. Drop that scripture. Take me over to John chapter eight. You understand? 
we're going to bring it out, man. Black studies and Hispanics, there's one thing that you can for sure understand about this Bible, is if you follow it, I promise to God that it'll change your life, man. It'll absolutely change your life. You're going to feel different. You're going to know who your enemy is. But now without opening this Bible, you just have an idea. You just think that you don't have an enemy. The Christian church think they don't got no enemies, man. You understand? God is an enemy to the Christian church. But they don't think that they got any enemies. Take me over to verse 32, man. You got that? Read. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What will we be free from? Our babies will be free from that abortion clinic because the truth, you understand? The law, statute, commandments of the Bible, knowing who your God is, knowing your identity, is going to make you move different. It's going to make you move in the ways of the Lord, which is going to make you free. We'll be free from the prison houses, you understand? We'll be free from the, from the going wrong drug uh, transactions, man. We'll be free from all of the traps that our oppressor has set before us, man. We will be free. Our health will be different. Our minds will be different. Our choices will be different. The decisions we make will be different because we would have a mindset on our shoulders that say, I got to be righteous, man. I got to represent for the Lord. I got to represent for every other black, Latino, and Native American Indian. You understand? I have to be righteous. I have to be against evil. Those type of things, man, is what's going to make us free. Those type of things is going to set us free away from the trauma that we have in our lives. The gun bullets can stop in our neighborhoods, man. You understand? We can become a unit again. You got to be a silver fly, man. You're going to understand what this type of body is like. You're going to understand what the truth is like. You're going to understand. You're going to learn today what it is to be a man, what it is to be a sister, a woman, how to have some proper decorum, how to behave. You're not going to be acting a fool out here in this kingdom, man. Right. This kingdom loves to see us act like a fool. This kingdom loves to see us half naked on these streets. This kingdom loves it. They love seeing our little babies by themselves so they can take our babies, man. They love seeing us swimmel and, and, and all type of chaos. That's what they love. They love seeing us high out of our minds. You understand? They love seeing that because it brings them more money. It allows them to go to sleep with a smile on their face knowing that they're destroying your lives. You understand? Read it from the top. Come on, come. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Go ahead. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let me tell you something, man. The truth is inside the Bible, man. Right. That's what the truth is. It ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, no horoscope. You sisters, delete that horoscope off of your phone. It's not going to come because of your birth sign, your zodiac sign. Right. You understand? That's not the truth. And you're not free. You understand? You ain't even free from that act. You understand? The truth is in the Bible. That's what the truth is. Everything else is a lie. The truth is in the Bible, man. Drop that scripture. Take me over to Isaiah chapter 30, man. We don't understand that this Bible, we follow this Bible, man. Our whole conditions change. How does it change? Just saying we ain't making this up. Black people stop smoking today, America folks. Tomorrow. The stock market crashes, planes flying in the planes, all because a black man decided to stop getting hot. You understand? These America would trickle and fall over if black people decided to come back to this Bible, man. If we decided to follow what the Lord said to follow. You got the scripture? 30 on 1. Go oh God. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Whoa! To the rebellious children. You understand? It says, woe to the rebellious children. For so long, we've been rebellious children against what, what's right, man. For so long, we thought that our opinion mattered most. Isn't that what America tells us? Then don't worry, sweetheart. Your, your opinion matters most. Well, guess what? God don't give a damn about your opinion, man. You have to understand that what God says is actual factual. It's what we should follow. If your opinion ain't staying up or following up behind what God said, then guess what? It ain't of God, man. You understand? Just keep reading. Oh, God. Whoa, to the rebellious children. It says destruction to the rebellious children. We've been rebellious. And you see how destroyed we are. You understand? You see our conditions. Keep reading. Oh, God. Say the Lord. Now take counsel, but not from me. You understand? That's what's going on in that Christian church. That's what's going on every single moment that we take not being in the body of Christ. That's what happens. We take counsel, we take advice from everything that cannot change our, 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 our condition. From everything that can't change our lives. That's what we decide to take advice from. That's what we decide to take counsel from. What well, God said, whoa, 
destruction to these rebellious children. You want to know why? Because your horoscope don't have the answers. Your Christian church, your pastor does not have the answers. Your imam does not have the answer. That's why he says, whoa, destruction. And that's what happened. We be destroyed in that Christian church. Y'all know about the rapid child molestation that goes on in that church. The Roman Catholic Church got about 80,000 cases on child molestation. And don't let me bring up the black Christian church. Forget about it. You understand? Go talk to your sister that grew up in the church and, t and let her tell you how the pastor touched on her. You understand? We destroyed inside of that church, man, because the truth ain't in that church, man. That's why the Bible says, whoa, destruction to the rebellious children. We got to stop being rebellious. The problem is we didn't take counsel from everything else but the Bible, man. But the ISUBK under command of Junior Honda. You think we out here to lie to you, man? You think we out here in 90 degree weather just to come out of here and lie? We coming out here to teach the truth on the highways and the byways to every single black Latino Native American Indian, man. Right. Keep reading. They take counsel, but not for me. They take counsel, but not for me. You understand? We don't take the Lord's counsel. Thank you, brother. Grab your flyer. Grab your flyer, man. You understand? We don't take counsel from the Lord. That's what we got to understand. We keep going to the wrong thing. The source is right here. We keep getting faked out and juked out. And we trying everything but the truth. But how much more is it going to take before you find out that you know what? You don't got the answers. I'm going to go actually, I'm going to go see what these brothers are talking about. They ain't making it up, surely. So let's go, let, let me at least see what they're talking about. Because we try everything else. You brothers and sisters not here. Go on Google. And we go on all of the million search results looking for the answers. You understand the answer right here, man. The answer is in the eyes you be counting the commander Jenny Hanna, man. You understand? Keep reading. I'm done. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. You understand that we cover with a covering, but not of the Lord's spirit, man. So when we go, when we're not opening this Bible, when we're not following what the Lord said to follow, what are we following? What are we trusting? We've trusted in America and they ways for too long. And it does nothing for us. We trusted in, the, in, in America's ways when it comes to their holidays. And what happens to us on their holidays? Go look at the crime rate shoot out the roof. On I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect Respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two. Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler Warhol, or even call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming.